Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to study stacks in data structures. First, we will get to know what a stack is, and after that, we will try to use these stacks in our assembly programs. Now, what a stack is? Stack is a homogeneous data structure. Now, what is a homogeneous data structure? Homogeneous data structure always contains similar type of data. If not, we would call it a heterogeneous data structure. So, stack is what? Stack is a homogeneous data structure containing similar type of data. The second thing about stack is that it concept here. It follows the LIFO concept. Now, what is a LIFO concept? Let's say you have a stack here. You might have some elements or some items here in this stack or in this box. Now, LIFO means that if you have put an item here most recently or the last item you have put in your box or your or in your stack you can remove only that item or from your stack in order to remove this one you need to first remove this and this and then you will get to the this uh, then you will get to this item so this concept is known as last in first out last in and first out so it follows the LIFO concept then one more thing about stack is that it uh, manages a, or it maintains a stack pointer register now what is the purpose of a stack pointer register it this register always points towards the top of your stack it will always point towards the top element of your stack currently the top element is this one so my sp will be pointing towards this element so if this changes the sp will also change so there are two operations that we can perform on our stack we can either perform push operation or pop operation the process of inserting data into the your, into your stack is known as push and removing data from your stack is known as pop so uh, as we have a stack here so you can only insert the data to the top of your stack and if you want to remove some data from your stack you will allow, always remove from the top of your stack so inserting with uh, inserting is known as push and removing data from the stack is known as pop operation now one more thing will happen when you uh, use push instruction that thing is that the stack pointer will always increment when you will perform a push operation and the stack pointer will decrement when you perform a pop operation why if you are uh, uh, performing a push operation let's say i am adding this element to my stack let's say this element is now here so my stack pointer will also increment and this will points toward the new element so similarly if i am popping something from my stack this will always get decremented so this is how push and pop instruction works now uh, now what how do we use push and pop instruction in our assembly program so for those two we have two instructions one is push instruction and one is pop instruction the push, uh, push instruction will always push the data to the top of the stack we know about that now how do we use it first of all we write the push instruction then we can write either a register name or a variable name we can we have two options here that we can use with our push one is a register name and one is a, or one is a variable name you can either use the variable name here or you can use the register name here for example i am what am i doing in this instruction in this instruction i am pushing dx into my stack so what am i doing actually i am pushing um, i am adding the value of dx inside my stack or i can say to the top of my stack so similarly in pop instruction i will pop data from the top of stack so the syntax is same for this one too you need to write pop instruction with some register or variable name for example pop dx so this means that i am trying to pop a value from my stack and i am trying to put that in my dx register i am trying to store my popped data into data register okay so this is how you can use these two in your <coughs> assembly programs now without further ado let's get to our assembly program and try to write something here so for example i named my code uh, stack.asm so i am using edit command to write code on stack.asm so now i can write the directives here small dot stack 100s so one more thing as we said that we are going to be using some stack in our assembly program so we are not going to create an additional stack because we have already defined this stack here so this is the stack that we are going to be dealing with so now this is my data section currently i am leaving it and this is my code section this is my main procedure this is where my end procedure ends and this is my 
termination command so now here I am trying to create my program so for example I am trying to push some data in my stake but I need a variable or a register for that so let's say I'm using DX register now one more thing uh, while performing push or pop operation we will always use 16 bit over 16 bit registers or variables so this is a rule with push and pop operation you will always use 16 bit uh, variables or registers to push or pop data from the stack so for example i am pushing moving um, a into dx now i can simply push dx now what will this line do this line will push a inside or i can say push a to the top of the stake so currently i've got only one element in my stake and that is what that is a so next line i am trying to move the uh, b in my dx so if i do something like this now what am i doing i am pushing b to the top of the stake so the new top of my stake is what now b now if i do one more thing move dx c and if i perform push dx now now this time this will push c to the top of the stake now currently the top of my stake is what c so this is how you push data in your stake now what if i am trying to pop some data my, from my stake what will i do i'll simply use pop and let's say i'm going to retrieve the data from the stake and i'm going to store it in my data register so what will happen after writing this the data value from from the top will be stored in my in dx now dx will contain the value that i have currently popped from my stake which was the top element of my stake now if i try to see that what is the current value of dx that i have retrieved from my stack that i have popped from my stack i can simply print it on screen by moving a h by moving to inside my a h and by creating this interrupt now let's uh, give a finishing touch to my code interrupt 21 h now i think i'm good to go now so now what will i do i will simply save my code now uh, look back again in your code first of all i moved a in my data register then i pushed data register into my uh, stake so in this line i'll have only one element in my stake and that is a in the second line i'm in the second and third line i'm going to insert one more element in my stake so the current top is b and after that the current top was c and then i retrieve the top element of my uh, stake using pop uh, operation so currently c will be stored in my dx so i'm trying to print this using these four or five lines so currently i'm going to save it i'm going to exit it from here i'm going to give this to the mesm asm and then i'm going to link my code stake dot obj and then i'm going to uh, just execute it load it and look currently c is printed on my screen why because c was the top element of your stake so this is how you can deal with stakes in your assembly programs so if you have got any question or if you need to ask for more problems on stakes you can definitely ask for uh, the, such kind of things in the comment box